So, this happened. And then this happened. And this happened. And more of this. And finally, this. Sorry about the loud noises and the rough hair. Uh, I had every intentions of ending this vlog on a happy, like, all our furniture is in my apartment in Phoenix. See, it did no. We have had the worst experience with pods. You know, like, the company that you pack all your stuff into a pod that they deliver to you and then they ship it across the country for you, bring it to your new location and then you unload that company we get here and we're told our pod is supposed to be delivered on the 23rd it is the 20th when i get an email saying our delivery logistically will not work out and that they can now not deliver our pod until the 29th that's a whole week the next morning i contact customer service via text online or whatever and they tell me it's because a driver got sick I feel bad that someone has gotten sick, but a whole company should not, like, things should still run if one person gets sick. Kyle calls them and asks if we can just pick up our pod, like, in, in a way to get our stuff sooner. They said, yeah, you can pick up your pod at the warehouse in Arizona on the 24th. So they schedule a self pickup. Great. We get there and the warehouse guy has to let us in. And he tells us, like, okay, go get your U-Haul, and I will have it out back where you saw us standing to pick up your stuff. We're on our way to get the U-Haul, and guy calls me. I'm like, okay, was, your pod's not here at all, and I haven't gotten an email for an estimated time of delivery. Great. We call customer service again. And we're on hold and trying to figure this thing out for an hour long. They had to call both warehouses, the one in Virginia and the one in Arizona, to find out that our pod is not at either. It is lost in transit and they don't know where it is. I'm sorry. Amazon is very capable of telling me that the Amazon guy is five stops away from delivering my package and you're telling me you can't locate my two tons of stuff located in your pod? They couldn't even get a hold of the driver. Someone in this company has to know where my shit is. And that is today's goal. I called this morning. They still don't know where our stuff is. Every time you call, you get a new customer service agent, which I get. Huge company, all these people work from home. But no one gives you new information. She tells me that, ah, on the 24th, it didn't look like it was at the warehouse yet. And I'm like, yeah, because on the 24th, we called to tell you guys it wasn't at the warehouse yet. Not only is it just like logistically you can't get us our stuff, logistically you don't know where our shit is. So, ending this vlog a little bit on a sour note. I am outside drinking my Mountain Dew because I do not have my coffee maker yet. We have to go grocery shopping for shit we can only cook in the microwave again. And I've been sleeping, explains the hair, on an air mattress that deflates in the middle of the night. I went on the floor. Been working from the floor for about a week. All well, this to say that if you're going to move across the country, maybe either look into a different company or definitely put some kind of tracker device in your pod so that you know where it is because they're not going to tell you. In happier news though, 
finally got a shoehorn that will move my mic over so I can use my flip up screen to vlog easier. That'll be fun.